Yes, we're back. <laughs> the worst turtleneck I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tuck it in. What the fuck have you come as? Very scary. Like a shit. <laughs> Slaney, what is that? It looks like someone's thrown up on yeah, your head. You're not a quid, wee man. What did it say? Oh, you're not a quid. What's that yeah, name? Did you get that in the market, did you? Okay, in the barrows? Okay, that's good. Look at the tree in the back. Right, see that, mate? Shows the gaff. Oh, oh look at that, man. Not that tap of tree, though. Christmas Day boys round here every day. Right, mate, we're <laughs> going to talk about the World Cup so far, so you, oh. you used to have clowns ready. Let's go. Right, listen. Which team has impressed the most so far? Brazil. Qatar. <laughs> 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 Oi, Katara, like your Bill Ricky team, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I've never seen the best of the best of performances mate, on your Bill Ricky team. Mill, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get started on your crew, <laughs> mate. Yeah. Right, shut it. What team's impressed you the most so far? Um, uh, mate, look, you can't you can't look past Brazil. They've been they've been different class, haven't they? I mean playing that Samba football, um, enjoying themselves. Look like they're really having fun. But England as well. Look, we ain't beat anyone yet, but you still got to beat the teams in front of you. So in terms of, you know, we've got to play France next. That's, that's going to be a massive test. But what I like about this England side is they look like they're enjoying themselves as well. We don't seem like it's regimented. It don't seem like there's like a huge itinerary to their training schedules. They're posting on Instagram and and TikTok, having fun, playing football. And I think that's what you've got to do in a World Cup. So, for me, Brazil and England have been have been different class. And we just got to get past so, France now. Morocco. Do you know what I mean? That's going to be a tough Morocco's one. been unbelievable. I think Morocco's going to win it, Jamie. <laughs> okay, shut, I had France. Shut up, France. Right. From, and I think, I don't know how England deal with it. We, we're going to go into England, but I, we spoke about it yesterday. Say, England put Mbappé up front. Because... Stones and Maguire will not be able to deal with him. So you make sure you put him up front because Kyle Walker will match him, Jamie boy. Tucky tits. So I think, <laughs> I, 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 I think I think we might go no. for three at the back, you know, play play Trippier so and, and play what, and leave, Walker in the leave, back leave three. spaces for Mbappé to run into. I think they might. No, no, I think I think we'll play a five, mate. You'll play Trippier, Walker. So you go, you go away from the formation that's got got you where you are. It's the best I've seen England play in a while. I know, mate. But who who we beat? Do you know what I mean? We beat two dog and duck teams. You know, we we beat Senegal, who were were bang average, and we drew against the USA, and we got dominated in that game, really. So. For me, it's, this is the one now. Do you change it? It's a massive question that Southgate's got to deal with. And he's probably going to have to be, have his thinking hat on. You're coming up against a proper nation now and you don't want to get knocked out because you think, oh, we're fine, we ain't conceded too many goals. And then Mbappe turns up and takes you to the cleaners. <clears throat> Look, John Stones and Harry Maguire have been different class. They really have. I mean, they've been good. And everyone dug out Maguire, but John Stones has been brilliant. I think Carl Walker can deal with Mbappe. But I've just got a feeling that Gareth Southgate might revert back to a five at the back and ju just to shore it up against Mbappe to keep him quiet and rely on... You so, know, Jimmy, if you see five at the back, the who's coming out and who's coming in? Um, I think he will take out... Wow, oh, Jimmy, come on. Bellingham. Come on, son. I think he might, mate. Or Foden. I don't know what... Look, he's, he, he, I've, look I think Bellingham should play because he's different class. But I think in this game, he's going to want to play Jordan Henderson. So if you're going to play a 3-4-3, three, three, which he wants to play, he's going to have to drop one of the midfielders. So it's either Henderson or Bellingham who gets dropped to bring him yeah, more. Yeah, OK. We're going to come to England. You know what I mean? We're so going to come to England. We need to move on. Uh, other than yourself, who's been the biggest letdown? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Qatar, Honestly, Qatar should probably be allowed to play uh, another fixture. It should fold. It should go part time. Weird. Mate, I thought I thought wa yeah. Wales Wales were a disgrace, weren't they? Let's be honest. Yeah. Gareth Bale, 
was still in LA playing golf. Ramsey, I mean, you know Ramsey more than me because you've seen him at Rangers and he hardly played. And he was absolutely dog as well. So, I mean, the whole team was just a joke. I mean, they were like a Sunday team. Like, it was embarrassing how they turned up. Against England, they didn't even look like they wanted to win. At least uh, Scotland would have gone at it and tried to win the game and, and gone after it. I, I genuinely wish Scotland were there over Wales because Wales were a disgrace to the tournament. Germany, they embarrassed themselves. Germany as well. But amazing that the Wales manager done the full tournament with a swimming cap on that. Couldn't believe he'd done that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yours, Germany? Germany. Because I, I, as you know, si, I see Germany were going to win it because he hands flick, one of the best managers in the world, won the Champions League with Bayern Munich. Danny Turner, Tom Muller played three games in a row, not good enough. So in, in Germany, with the squad of players, they've got people are saying to me that they need to change all their, their system. Their squad would be brilliant. Bayern Munich are brilliant. It was most of their players. So Germany, for me, the biggest letdown. Mm. And you missed the smelling of the boys. I don't know. How did that play a big part in it? 100% of the players, you could see, were protesting the first game when it went him back, sniffing the horns. So, no, I listen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to play right now? Turkey. <laughs> What does your Brussels <laughs> sprout smell like right now? Uh, mate, listen. Don't you worry about my Christmas <laughs> dinner, son. Uh, uh, what yeah. player has impressed the most? <laughs> Which player, Jay? Uh, it's got to be a bad player. You know what? You know what I'm a bit glad that's at the tournament is is Musiala from Germany. I thought he was brilliant. Yeah. You know, a young player. He looks like he's going to have, you know, the world at his feet. I think he's been so good. Look, Mbappe has been different class. We know that. It's obvious. <laughs> I think John Stones. John Stones has been absolutely amazing. The way he's played, like, peak Rio Ferdinand. Huh? So, for, for me, what are you laughing at? Because he used to be had an argument, member last Euros. He said Rudiger was better than John Stones. We had a massive Barney on the show about it. Stones. Yeah, but, what the, but what the fuck does he know? <laughs> Mate. <laughs> Rudiger would play a heady stone for England. Rudy, fuck. Slady, come on, mate. Stop talking absolute nonsense. Do you know who, who's been a brilliant big guy about the car for Cameron? He was out of this world. Did you mm-hmm. see, he's always called the, the, lob, the highest lob that's recorded in the World Cup history. Uh-huh. Uh, so, a big car for me, boys. Okay. Not about you, if you don't mind me, I know you're the host, but give me a bit. What, the best? Who's impressed? Jude Belly and what a player, mate. Said it on Twitter, mate. He's got a move. It's what every young midfielder should be. No sitter, no 10, can do absolutely everything. What a player. Yeah, yeah, no, he has been different class. He's, I mean, Liverpool can forget about signing Bellingham, can't they? He's, they've got no chance of getting him. Yeah. He's going around Madrid. Yeah, they're going to have another year of fucking James Milner, aren't they? <laughs> uh, right. As, uh, no, as, you take that career all day long. <laughs> of course you would. Has uh, Mbappe won the Golden Boot already? Aye. Or is Charleston because they're playing Charleston and they're playing Croatia next. You're Doug Shank. Who are they're done there too old. Croatia, the legs are right. You've seen them the extra time in Japan, really struggled. So I think Richarlison might sneak it, but Mbappe's just Mbappe's just party. Mm. Mbappe? Yeah. You think it's gonna be Mbappe? <laughs> Steve Guppy? No, I don't think it's gonna be Mbappe because they're gonna go out in the next game. So I think Richarlison might be able to nick it because they're gonna get to the final. But France are done, mate. Quarter final, see you later. Thanks for coming. You actually think that, Jimmy, eh? No. Do you England go out? No, I don't know, mate. I don't know. It's 50-50. It's a tough one. It depends how Southgate sets his team up. What about you, Sonny? It's France or England? I think England will beat them. Midfield. Midfield England are stronger. Um, defensively, France are stronger. Attack. Attack. Well, Mbappe, but Giroud. Mbappe. Giroud, um, <laughs> and, 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 mate. Listen, he does well for France, but I don't think Maguire and Stones can fear him. No way. He's a good goal scorer. Um, Dumbelli, he's no fan of all sorts. So I think, as Jamie said, it's a 50-50, but I think you, you favour France just with Mumbuppa. <laughs> so, is that... I think if we, if we get through this one, I think if we get through France, I think we can win it. So, I see, in that fact, are you just telling Kyle Walker to man Mark and Buppy? Yeah. Gareth Southgate... Good on them for changing the formation and going to 4 3 3. I really like that because they've got success in the last two tournaments playing the 3 5 2 or the 3 4 3. Um, but I really like the fact that he's went 4 3 3. And a lot of people, I mean, con- con- continually criticize him. Madison, why is he not why is he on the squad? Nobody wants about Madison no. now being in the squad because he, he, he's called absolutely spot on um, and he's dealing with the big decisions. The only thing is now when they playing the big nation, he wants to be a bit more negative. And if I you're England, I think you're good enough to go and take off take France on. So I think it's Gareth Southgate for me. Connor Cody, for me, what a tournament he's had. He did tennis. Yeah, Mad- Madison. Madison's been different class, hasn't he? Well, what, 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 
it was well worth taking in, wasn't it? Right, so do you think Kane's a thrust? you agree with this? Or, uh, Tony Adams actually said that he would love to play against Harry Kane. I've not seen that for years. I think if you're a defender, you'd love to play against Harry Kane. Too slow, drops away into the midfield and carry on. You listen, on the ball and when he drops in, he's... he's, he's I'll say you're a top player on the ball and he can do it, but as a defender, he's not going to run you, Ty. He could drop something in the midfield. He's, he's not just lingering about the box now, so I think he would much rather play against Mate, he can, mate he's chatting shit. He can run you. He can. Well, Tony Adams, he can. Has the best defenders ever in the mate, look at the goal. He's, look at the goal he scored against the Senegal, running off the ball. Look at the goal we scored. He can run off the ball. He's deceptively quick. He is an all round centre forward. He's what what he tell Tony Adams. Tell Tony Adams. Been, He's been the best centre forward at the World Cup so far. Better than Richardson. Fuck, maybe not then. Right, don't you give Gareth Southgate more credit? He's gave him credit. You've gained him. You said he managed medals, bruh. Are you going to give him some credit now? No, I'll give him credit after we beat France. All right, well done. He's got out of the group, a group that we should have topped. We topped. We played shit against the USA. Um, he beat two dog and duck teams that you know that we knew we were going to beat, and he's beat Senegal. All right, he's been good. You have got to beat what's in front of you, and he deserves a he deserves a little bit of credit for that. But this is now the real test. Quarterfinals. That's where we were expected to get. So we are now at the stage where England were expected to be. Quarterfinals against France. Now let's see what you're made of. See if your in-game management is good because this is going to be a tough game. Things are going to happen and we'll see what Southgate's about. Me, me, I, we could put a team out against them four teams and win them games. Good like, point. no problem. Yeah. So, let, let's see what you're about now when you come up against it because what, all of a sudden you play against the two best teams that we played against was Italy in the final and Croatia in the semi-final of the World Cup and we lost both of them after going 1-0 up. So, Let's see what Southgate's about now. Quarterfinal, France, if he's a real deal. Where did you get that poll next? Seriously. Do you know on it? You want me to send it up for you? That's a shocker, son. I'll sign it for you. Send it up. I like get some likes. What have you got? In, you got in your naked underneath that? Or have you got jeans on? No, I've got a t shirt on. You've got. And then what on your legs? Right, it's cold down here. What have you got it's on your cold legs? Down here. It goes right down. It's a one of the long ones, you guys. A one's I'm not trying to dig out my. Pennies. I mean, look. Listen, what you've got on went out of fashion fucking 10 years ago. Oh, I've worn one of them when I was 24. You're not a footballer anymore, mate. You're a manager. Yeah, you're not, you're a manager. Is he on me? <laughs> yeah, you meant to be a gaffer. Right, listen. Forget Southgate. What's your, what would be your England start at 11 right now? I'm not going to do what Southgate would do. I've, I think he might play five at the back. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't do that. I would we'll play the same team that we played against Senegal. I mean, it, there's no reason to change it now. You've picked that's your team that you've picked to compete, and I think that's the best England team that we've got. You know, Sterling's not there anymore, and you know, I think Bellingham's been different class. I think for me, that is our best side, and it's exciting because they're all young players with a bit of experience in there as well. But we've got so much young talent that this team could go all the way. It really could, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know what Southgate will do. Who's in midfield too? Bellingham and Henderson. No, no, Henderson, Rice, Is that what you'd go? Uh, the only one I would maybe say is Henderson out and maybe bring in a mount or something to play a bit nice back. Oh, f- Slaney, Slaney, honestly, mate, when I thought you couldn't get any fucking thicker. <laughs> Are well, you winding me up? You're not listening to Henderson. Listen, you. Listen, you. You don't listen to good. He's good. No, but nobody said Henderson. Nobody. We spoke about Henderson. He didn't play all season for Liverpool. He was hopeless for Liverpool. And that, listen, I really like Jordan Henderson, but potentially, say si, you could maybe take a Henderson out and put a mere forward player in because you've got Rice and Henderson, both defensive. And Rice they, and Belly of you. No, Hend- Rice and Henderson. Oh, Henderson so two right. mere defensive. Do you know what I mean? So you maybe just shoot the one. Who knows? Nah, not having that. Right. Oh, look, you need a Jordan Henderson in your side, right? You've got to have, you've got to have that type of player in your team. And he's a leader on the pitch. He guides the young players through games. He's like having a coach on... And, all right, yeah, he's not blessed with Bellingham's ability or even Declan Rice's ability, but what he brings is experience, a winning mentality, and he's been there and done it. He's been there and done it. He's won all competitions. So, for me, he has to be in the side now, going forward. At the start of the tournament, I was a bit like, no, nah, let's go with the young guns. 
But actually, with him in there, we look a better team. And he was brilliant against Senegal. Yeah. Right. Second last question. What France players get in the England team? Mbappé? Yeah, Mbappé, obviously. Um, Perhaps. Do it both half? Camel. No, Kyle Walker's better right back. No, he's in half. Who's the right back? Who's the Barca? Kunde. He's good. Uh, Kunde, but Walker, Walker's, Walker's a good guy. Um, the guy. The midfielder for Real Madrid gets in ahead of Henderson. Bellingham, Bellingham comes in ahead of Rabio. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I think my England are probably squad wise stronger. It's just a Who plays on a. Ro- no, uh, 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 Dembele? Dembele's better than Saka. Do you nah. think he's better than Saka? I don't think there's a lot in that. The, the way they play now. Mm. I don't. I, I. I. wouldn't take Dembele over Saka to be honest. He has one favorite. Would you take the goalie? No. When no. Who's that? No. No, I wouldn't. Ask me that a couple of years ago. I probably would have said Lloris, but no, not now. Yeah. I think Lloris has got too many problems in terms of his distribution. I think he. You know, sometimes he needs to sew his arms on. <laughs> you know, when he's trying to save something, coming for a cross. <clears throat> I think Pickford's been brilliant. He made a couple yeah. of great saves. His distribution's good. I mean, he just seems to turn up when he's playing for England, doesn't he? He's, he's different class. Yeah, I'm going to add a question here that's not on the list. Go on. Who's, who's got the better manager? You've got to say France. He's won a World Cup. So, you, you, you know, can he be Southgate? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's not a question, is it? I mean, it's, uh, if that weren't on the list, it's the fucking stupidest question I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you, one, you need a running order, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's good for next to what we're going. I'm going to do it. Two one England. Wow. I don't want it, but I think it'll be two one England. I think it's going to be. I think we'll win on penalties. Do you right? What? So what? Yeah, score think, draw. Score draw. Ninety minutes. I think. I think it'll be one all. I think we'll win on penalties. Connor Cody. You say, I'll, I'll change it. I'll go France. I think I'll go France. Two one France. Well, of course you're going to go France because you're a melt. <laughs> He's on you, did he? <laughs> right, boys, we're on a yes or no game. Yeah. He's ready for us. Here we go. No. Good. He's in. He he he's in it already. He's he's yes. No, no, no. You said here we go. Right. Why not Messi? Will he play the next World Cup? No. No. Okay. Scotland will play the next World Cup. Yes. yes. Absolutely fucking not. Actually, you might have a chance now because there's about 180 teams going. Absolutely. Will Jamie O'Hara get under 18 stone for Christmas Day? No. No chance. <laughs> no. Cristiano Ronaldo is still world class. No. No. Yes. Nah, come on, mate. He's going to fucking Qatar, isn't he? Saudi Arabia. Right. Yeah, but he ain't gone there yet. He's playing in a World Cup and he's scoring goals, so that makes him world class. All right, you go with that. Because he's scoring goals at a World Cup means he's world class. So who else has scored? Give me a, a daddy that scored. <laughs> There's a few daddies that scored goals. Qatar scored a goal, so is that boy world class for the boy at Qatar? <laughs> How many has he scored when I was in the World Cup? One. One. The manager said the manager. Two. Scored. One off his air, one off his hairline. <laughs> well, he, that's not his goal that header no he didn't no, get that no, he didn't the get manager that. came out what? the manager came out in the last game because he played and the manager took him out for 60 minutes and Ronaldo came out and went nuts and the manager said he's going to deal with it in house so he's not is he? no no I will do it in a <laughs> uh, right Gareth Bale was the biggest letdown at the tournament yes no you knew Gareth Bale's, Gareth Bale's not played for so long. You knew that was the performance. You're just hoping Gareth Bale gives you a moment of magic. That's what yeah. you're for. And Bale's were that bad. He couldn't get the body to him. So you can't see that. That's just very naive. I did three for you. He was, wow. miles, he, was, he, was, he was miles off it, boys. He was miles off it. He, he decided to go to LAFC, go and live the dream in LA, which we all want to do, which is great. But he had a World Cup. He should have stayed in the UK, gone somewhere where he was playing week in, week out, would have been fit going into the tournament. And he would have been able to get around the pitch. He weren't fit. I don't know whether he was carrying a knock or something, but he was miles off it. So in that sense, look, he's been a great player, a world-class player. Probably the the best British player ever. But he let himself down going into the tournament. Best British player ever, you got that? Stevie Craig would have something to say about that. Stevie Craig. (laughs) 
need to something to say about that. That's really good. Uh, right, this... Belgium. We've not spoken about Belgium. Oh, they are. That they... manager, mate. What a yeah, but you know what? Everyone thoughts about this golden generation that Belgium have had. And I actually look at them and think, apart from De Bruyne... Hazard. Like, yeah, but Hazard, what, four years ago? Do you know what I mean? Like they, they, I actually look at their team and think, was it ever really a golden generation? Like, it was a good time. It was a good side, a really good side. But they didn't win anything, and they never looked like winning anything. So why the fuck was there all this hype about them all the time? I don't actually think they were that special. This last one. Will England win the World Cup? Maybe. No. Nah, put your balls on the line, mate. Yes or no? No. Put your big hairy balls on the line. No. No. Who will? Brazil. Brazil will win it. And Brazil. They've got a great run here as well. We might get to the final. I think because they've got, Brazil's got a great run. The Croatia. Croatia and then, do you know what? Argentina and Holland. They're no great shakes, they too. Yeah. Argentina, watch Argentina. Apart from Messi, goodness me. They're hopeless. Yeah. Aren't they? So uh, you, you fa fancy Brazil, we get the final and then France, Portugal, England, probably the three do. So I think Brazil. Last bit, Jay, what, what are you doing Christmas Day, seriously? Got my kids, mate. Enjoying themselves. Where are you, mate? What are you up to? He's coming up to my house Christmas night. Have you got a house? <laughs> no, that's when we're up to house. <laughs> <laughs>